Hey Bro Chicas, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated full coverage foundation routine. Um, I can't remember the last time that I did it. I've only done my full coverage foundation routine one time, but I think it was quite a while ago I want to say six months ago or so um, I will put a card up here if you haven't seen that one if you're interested but I do have a new foundation routine for full coverage and I actually have a lot of redness and acne going on so I figured what better time to show you guys that my routine is flawless and full coverage especially for people who suffer from acne so without further ado we're just gonna go straight into the video Okay, so we're gonna get right into primer. And the primer that I've been absolutely loving lately is the NYX Angel Veil vale Skin Perfecting Primer. Here's what it looks like. It's a super cute bottle. Now, this is actually a little pricey for the drugstore. Um, I think it's like $12 for this size. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I like to take this much of the primer this is so amazing you guys i actually had this in my freelance kit but i liked it so much i needed one for myself it mattifies it fills in your pores it smooths it's like one of those universal primers that pretty much does everything that you need what i like to do as well is bring whatever leftover primer i have and I like to go back and forth under my eyes where those creases are at. I might even add a little bit more. And I've been doing this lately to really help out my creasing under my eyes. For some reason, this primer is magical. And it helps my foundation, my concealer, not to settle into those fine lines. And whatever is left, I'll just take on the outer perimeter but mostly I concentrate it in the middle you see it just takes away my shine instantly it makes a smooth uh, base for my foundation and it also fills in my pores a bit now the key to having a flawless foundation base is try not to just pile all your products on top of each other make sure that you're really letting your moisturizer sink in for like five minutes before you apply your primer i already had washed moisturized skin just to let you guys know and then once you put your primer on make sure you let it set for like another three minutes and really sink into your skin before you go ahead with foundation because if you just pile on a bunch of layers that's how things get cakey okay so now that we've let our primer sink into our skin we're gonna go ahead with foundation this is my all-time favorite foundation it's the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup this is the one that I would recommend for anybody with normal combo oily skin this is amazing if you have dry skin you can still use it but you might want to go in with a luminizing primer and make sure you really hydrate your face beforehand you can use mac fix plus in between to give yourself some more moisture um, but this is an amazing foundation it really really does last all day long I'm completely obsessed with it um, now that I use it I actually don't use any other foundation I will try to switch it up for you guys though when I do makeup tutorials because I know it'll get boring to see me use this all the time but this is the foundation that I depend on it's dependable it does everything I want it to do it looks beautiful on the skin it doesn't look cakey it looks like your skin but better but it covers everything you don't want to see and it actually lasts a long time I cannot say enough good things about this foundation so I put about a dime size maybe a nickel size but it's like a thin layer um, on my the back of my hand because I haven't bought a pump yet but they do have pumps for these and I'm in the shade 2w2 rattan but I actually mixed a small little sample size of tawny in there and that's how I get my perfect shade and what I do is I will go ahead and I'll dot the foundation around my face I like to put most of the concentration on the places that I need a lot of coverage so I'm not sure if I said it already but this is a medium to full coverage foundation you can definitely build it up to a super full coverage um, I find it to be full coverage 
as it is. I just use this amount and this is how I get the full coverage. And I'm just going to use a flat top kabuki brush. It's my favorite way to apply this foundation. This is just the one by Wet n Wild. It's all ratchet. <laughs> and um, what I like to do is stipple it. So um, if you are not a pro at blending foundation in quickly, you might want to work in sections because it can dry down pretty fast. But I'm pretty fast, a pretty fast blender, so I just go ahead and do the whole face. Like, look at how it's covering. It literally covers up all of my redness, all of my acne. I'm so obsessed with this foundation. But if you are not yet a pro, I would definitely work in sections. If you want a sheerer coverage of this foundation, you can use a beauty sponge or beauty blender and you'll get a little sheerer of coverage or a light lighter coverage. But basically, I just go and I stipple everywhere. I give it like a rough draft is what I like to call it. I've never heard anybody say it like this, but at first it looks fake, right? It looks like a mask right now, but trust me, it doesn't stay that way. I always make sure to blend it down my neck and a little bit on my earlobes. So I have a rough draft down of stippling. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my detailed stippling. So I just go around the entire face and I just stipple until I feel like it's blended enough. So I basically just stipple it until I feel that it's fully blended. I feel like this is really good. So the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Beige is what I tend to use if I have any other acne spots that are being extra stubborn. And then I just take the brush that I used for my foundation and I stipple that. Now stippling is so important you guys because if you buff you're just gonna move around um, the foundation and you're really just gonna take away the coverage and shear it out but if you stipple you're just patting it into place and some for some magical reason it blends when you do this over and over and over but it really just packs on the product and it keeps the product where you placed it. Now we move on to concealer. This is one of my new favorite concealers. It is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Warm. And this is comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I watched Juicy Jazz use this concealer and she really liked it and then I also heard a couple other people doing dupe videos and I went into Ulta and I felt the texture of both of them I swatched them on my hand and they did feel really sim similar in the formula so next I do want to try the Tarte Shape Tape I've been wanting to try that concealer for a really long time but this one is really really good I just recently got this and I'm obsessed with it so what I've been liking to do is obviously the triangle under my eyes like I normally do. But I like to contour my nose or reverse contour my nose by putting the concealer on the sides of my nose. If you can see it like that. Kind of like already begins the contouring process that I'm going to do and then I just put a little bit of this right here on the cupids bow a little of this goes a long way and then I'm put a little bit right here and a tiny bit on my nose now I let this set for a minute let it sit for like 
um, I want to say just one minute, like 60 seconds, because if you let your concealer just like sit, it actually becomes even more full coverage. Now, this is already full coverage um, on its own, but I like it to be really bright and really full coverage underneath my eyes, so I kind of let it sit for a minute and um, then I blend it out. And I've just been really liking to do that lately. The brush that I use is the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. It's just a little round dome brush. And then I just go and blend out the product. I usually start with my Cupid's bow, then my forehead, then my nose, and then my under eyes. So I like to start out from the bottom of the concealer triangle. Then I will work my way up into this corner while looking up. I'm just using patting motions. I'm not swiping, I'm stippling. And then once I'm happy with how the under eyes are um, blended, I'll take whatever I have left and just put a little bit on my lid to cancel out the dark colors that are normally going on up there. Now, this is a really ugly face, but this is the face that I make to make sure that I'm really getting uh, my under eyes and getting those creases because I don't want too much product to be settling in there. First, I like to get my powder ready before I do this. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. And this is what I've been using lately to set my under eyes. So I'll just pour some out on the lid. And then I'll take this Eco Tools uh, sponge and I like to get it on this part right here. And then I'll look up and just tap out the wrinkles here, tap out those lines. And while still looking up, I'm gonna set it. So I set it like a triangle, just like I put the concealer and I make sure that I bring this powder up on my nose, up on the sides of my nose. I really like to get this crease right in here. So I'm gonna get some more powder for the other eye. I'm gonna tap it out. Powder in the eye. Uh, I swear this never happens, you guys. Oh my god. Okay. We're okay. We're gonna make it. So then I place a little powder here on my cupid's bow and then a little bit on my forehead and then I take this edge right here, which is why I love this sponge, and I put that down the middle of my nose. And you really have to try your best to get it in the middle because you can really mess up your your nose contour if you don't do it straight. So you just try your best to get it as straight as possible. So that is what I do for baking. And then while those are baking, I take my fingers, my ring finger, and I just kind of like smooth out those creases. Keep looking down. And I'm going to set my eyelids with the Ulta Beauty Finishing Powder Lightweight Matte Finish. This is in the shade Light Medium. I know this is a big old brush, but this is the one I use for my whole face. So I just use this on my eyelids to set it. And this is just a flat top kabuki brush from e.l.f. I'm also gonna take this and set the rest of my face.
Then I make sure that I take this down my neck as well. And a little bit on my earlobes. That way everything is cohesive. I'm gonna set the forehead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dust away this baking. I don't let it bake for too, too long because I find that when I bake for too long, it actually messes up my whole like foundation and everything I've done, it kind of like does it negatively. But if I just let it set for a little bit, it looks really, really nice. So I go ahead and I take this e.l.f. blush brush. I'm going to just dust this away. Now we are going to move into contouring and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the shade Dulce de Leche. I first like to take this Flawless Concealer Brush by e.l.f. and I take it on the side of my brush and I'm going to blow off some excess. And then I actually place this underneath my lip to give my lip a fuller, juicier appearance. And then I will take it on the side of the brush once again, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna put some underneath my nose very lightly. This is going to contour our nose. It's also gonna just bring color back into our face. And I take some on the side once again, tap off the excess, we don't want too much. And I'm just going to contour. And then whatever is left on my brush, I like to bring it up and around and kind of like accentuate this brow bone, this like forehead bone, whatever this contour is right here. And then to kind of like blend that out, I take the same brush that I dusted my baking away with and I just kind of run it over those, those edges there. Now I'm gonna contour my cheekbones and I take this big um, kind of pointed fluffy brush and this is a Moda powder brush and I take this in that same color on the point. And then I get it in the hollows of my cheeks right here. I love this brush because you barely have to do anything. It does all the work for you. It blends out seamlessly. Now what I like to do, because I have a bigger face, I have big cheeks, I like to bring the contour down very close to the edges of my mouth. It gives you even more of a hollowed out uh, cheekbone look and then I go I go ahead and I take some more of the color and I'm going to put it on my temples and work up to the corners of my forehead then of course I'm going to do my jawline always have to hide the double chin so I always make sure I bring it down my neck whatever's left on my brush I'll just dust on my ears and then that's it for the contour color oh so, as you can see life is coming back into our faces now now for bronzing I use the Mac give me Sun mineralized skin finish I'm so obsessed 
with this bronzer. For me personally, in my skin tone, I think that I can use this when I'm in my pale shade, which is now, and when I'm in my tan shade. I think it's gorgeous. It's like a terracotta, more on the orangey side of a bronzer, which I prefer. So I go ahead and I just dust some. And the bronzer, I'm gonna concentrate mostly towards my temples in the back part of my cheek. I'm not gonna bring it forward like I brought the contour. I'm gonna do these big circles like this, keeping it above um, the jawline. I don't wanna go too far down with this. You see how much warmth that gives? It is so gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with this bronzer. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now what I'll do is I will take the sponge that I used to bake and whatever's left on it, I'm just going to cut my cheeks. Just like that, I'm going to let that set for a little bit. I'm going to just let it bake while I'm putting my blush on. So I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. blush brush and I've been loving my Milani Luminoso blush recently so this is what I'm gonna use today. And I like to smile and I put it on the apples of my cheeks. And once I have a good amount of pigmentation on both cheeks, I'll take, so I put it on this way, and then once I have the pigmentation, I turn it sideways, and I'm just gonna gently blend it into my bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and dust off um, this baking. I don't leave it for too long. I'm just gonna use the Kabuki brush that I put on my face powder with, and just dust that away. And now I go in with highlighter. So I've been using the Anastasia Glow Kit in That Glow, and I'm gonna take the shade Bubbly. This has been my favorite shade lately. So I'm using an e.l.f. fan brush, and I like to do a little C shape here. So first I put it there on the cheekbone, and then I just take it across the brow bone and it ends up being a nice little C shape. Then I also go ahead and I take my ring finger, I'm going to take the same shade and put it on my cupid's bow. I used to do it with a fan brush but I like a more concentrated look here now so I've been using my finger. And I'm also gonna grab some more and put it on my nose. And I like to use my finger because I get a more concentrated line. I'll go back and take the brush that I used to contour my nose and I'll make sure that it's like really straight here. And then to go ahead and set everything down and mend those powders together, I'll either use one of two things. I'm running out of this, but this is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And I love this when I really need it to last and I need it to stay on the matter side. And then if I'm ever feeling dry, like when we have really cold days um, in the winter, I will use the MAC uh, Fix Plus Spray. And this is if I'm having like a dry skin day, I'll use this because it will make your skin dewy, but it really does nicely mend the powders together. So today, I think I'm just just going to use the fix plus because I feel a little bit dry on my outer edges um, what I realized with this spray is you have to be very careful with how you spray it because if it comes out in big globs it will ruin your foundation so you have to make sure it's really really far away from your face and that you're really pressing the 
pump with lots of pressure to make sure that it comes out in a fine spray not like globs everywhere because I went to work one day and I saw all these little dots on my face after like five hours and I was like what is that and then I realized it was from this so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on my face And then I'll look in the mirror and if I see any like big globs, I'll take the back side of this and um, just blend those little droplets together. That way you don't get any of those little dots all over your face. So this is the finished skin look without the rest of my makeup. It's taken me such a long time to perfect this, but I'm in love with my face base. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of my makeup on and then I'll be right back to finish out the video. Okay guys, so I am back and this is what the foundation looks like with the rest of my makeup on. So like I may have mentioned earlier, this is a long lasting foundation, it looks flawless with all the rest of my products on top of it it's very accepting of other products I've used foundations where it just doesn't look good with other products cladding on top of it and it doesn't look good with the powders and everything this foundation is absolutely flawless it's stunning I'm obsessed with it as you can see I don't look like a cake face I don't feel like there's anything on my face like a lot of people think that this foundation is gonna be like heavy but it's really not if you apply it correctly and if you don't put too much much. I put like a dime like nickel size amount on and I still don't feel cakey at all I don't find it settling into my fine lines so long as I blend it out correctly um, Don't put too much powder and all that kind of good stuff But this is uh, my updated foundation slash contour highlighting routine. This is what I've been doing for like the past month I'm completely obsessed with it. I've never had a routine better than this I feel like I've truly found the key routine. I'm probably gonna be doing this for a long time. I can't imagine finding any better products because I'm just loving everything I'm using right now. I just kicked my tripod. Anyways, I thought it would be useful to share with you guys what my recent routine has been. So I really hope that it was helpful for some of you. If you enjoyed it and it was helpful, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps my channel to get shared with other people and to pop up on their feed so that more people can be a part of this Bro Chica fam. If this is your first time uh, watching one of my videos, I would love for you to check out a few more. If you wanna see more from me, go ahead and subscribe hit the bell and then you'll be notified every time that I upload and that's it for this video guys I really hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye